Hi everyone. In this video, we'll talk about data cleaning using the data cleansing tool. Now, by definition, it fixes common data quality issues using a variety of parameters. It will allow you to replace null values, modify the case, uppercase to lowercase, and vice versa. Remove any unwanted characters across any fields that you select. They could be string or numeric. Next, trim the leading and trailing white space. So let us take one basic example to see how it helps in cleaning the data. Before me lies an empty workflow, an empty canvas. The first thing I do, I go out to the palette to pick up input data. And this will allow me to connect to the file from where I need to fetch the data. I go to File, and then I point out towards the file, which has a record of 417 employees. I open it. Now, as discussed earlier in one of my previous videos, it's a good idea to take a look at the quality of the data that you work with. And to do so, I choose this Input Data tool and press Ctrl-Shift-B. If we do that, you indirectly bring in the Browse button which will give you an equalized view of the quality of the data that you have. To see the output, I click on this Run Workflow button, or you may press Ctrl-R. Now, this preview window. Once you start choosing a certain column, it will show you the graph and the quality of the data inside it. Now, you may say, look, I want to remove all the leading spaces and I want to find it with the Cleanse tool. Either you go to the search box and type in Cleanse. Sometimes you do not know the exact tool name, in which case you may just write the problem that you want to overcome, such as Remove Leading Spaces. And this is the most underutilized feature. Why? Because you may not know the exact tool name, but you definitely know your problem. So why not just specify the problem and use the recommended tool? So the color blue suggests that it should be in preparation. If you start scrolling the buttons one by one, you see the data cleansing tool. I'll drag and drop it here. Now, question is, should I do it after browse or before browse? I really prefer browse so that you can see the output once the data is cleaned. It will take out some spaces. In fact, it does so automatically. So then I go to the second element of this workflow. I clear out all the fields. I choose the name, and for name, I simply suggest to look for the name column. If I find any leading or trailing white space, then please remove it. In the previous stage, we already saw in the preview window that there was some such data. So let me run the workflow. And once the workflow has run, I will get to see the Browse button, thereby showing me that there is no leading and trailing white space in the Name column. So the moment you start choosing the columns and then go to the Cleanse tool, you will get various options which will allow you to clean the data, which includes Modify Case or Replace Nulls, with either zero or with blanks. So we saw the basic example of data cleaning using the data cleansing tool. And do not forget to add a browse tool to preview the output data. A lot of professionals recommend multi-field formula tool in place of the data cleansing tool because the later is not dynamic for new generated field names. We'll talk about this in some of the other video lessons. 